Increment the ratings. Let's continue the Superman course of the expansion. Now it's time for a one tiny detail that what happens if you set remember to an element that is already memorized. So it's not pending or it's not dismissed. And it is quite surprising. You may be doing exactly the opposite of what you want. Let's, look, let's dig into that. But wait, there's more than that. In Super Memo, you can remember memorized elements as well. Let's use uh, this one, Piotr Wojniak. So that has 24-year interval and it was scheduled September 18th. Uh, for me, at the time of the recording, it's one month. Then, what I will do, then what I will do is just control M. Remember, and now I say, no, 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 not 44 days anymore. Do you see now? Oh, that's fascinating. Now it's pending. Do you see the color? Here it actually says pending. I removed days and repetitions. So now, while I, I'm in this limbo, Super Memo is kind of sending this as forget and then remember this again. This is actually what Super Memo did, in fact. Do you see? While, while this is by no means is um, intuitive. So if you have a, an element that is already memorized and you said remember, it will forget it. So it can be remembered once again. That's why I have the forget and the topic repetition in October 20th, the day I'm recording this video. Let's use another example, genuine example. Let's say any random place here. Let's check the history. Hey, I imported this three years ago and it's still waiting for me to do the repetition. It's been outstanding for three years. Look at the interval, crazy high. Okay, now control M because I, for me, it's one way to set the interval, right? Instead of 1000 and something, Let's do next week. Easy, right? Okay, now it's actually set to next week. The priority is bottom as a side effect. But let's see what happened. Hey, there's a forget. That's the point of this video. Because we'll use this, the remember option, in the upcoming videos. Because it, it is used in conjugation with dismiss and all of that. But just to let you know that remember is either string remember if the element is not memorized and if the element is memorized remember is both forget and remember back to back one precise detail that i'm pretty sure people who abuse or not abuse but um rely on this feature don't even know that that's what they are doing so the effect is a slightly different if element is remembered and not remembered and one final final detail what happened now i cancelled and what happens that now is the same as if i just did forget so strictly speaking if you really push it you can set forget learning learning and forget which has no key binding forget this element and i have a prompt yes and then i have to do um, place it on the queue. But if I go to any other one and I press, because it's memorized, I press Ctrl M and then when asking me for the interval, I cancel, I have the same effect. It's sending to the pending queue, but it doesn't have, it doesn't prompt me. I, didn't ha I haven't had the chance to select which position on the pending queue I want that. So remember that if you want to memorize a remembered element and you cancel that, oh, that, wasn't the, that was not the action I wanted, I wanted that control J, let's say instead, and you cancel, wait, you cancel the action, but you did forget it because setting remember to a memorized element first forgets it and then sets remember once again. That's a massive difference. Imagine you overlook this and you are suspending 
and you are forget actually forgetting elements, um, and you don't even realize that this detail. So if your flow is to set remember to memorize elements, never cancel rule of thumb. And what I will suggest instead is use other key bindings or features like later today to reschedule, postpone. There's quite a lot of them. Don't use the set remember. That's all for now. See you in the next video.